Hello guys and welcome back to another video. It is me, Eco, and today you guys will be watching me talk about my character Milkstar from my Clan Gen series. This was voted on by some of my Discord members on a poll if they want to see a lore video with one of my Clan Gen characters or uh, just a Clan Gen video. And this was voted, I think, 9 to 1. So I definitely decided to do this because the majority rules in my Discord server most of the time unless i'm like uh no i'm gonna be the dictator that i am and i want to play this more so i'm gonna do that more but that's rare um but anyways so we are gonna be talking about milkstar today and his backstory of how eco clan was founded and how he became leader and all that good stuff so yeah let's get started milkstar was actually not born a clan cat he was born as a kitty pet to some two-leg owners who adopted him in a shelter. By the way, quick disclaimer, the place he lives is pretty dry and warm, with little water, so that will make sense in future, what I'm talking about in the future, by the way. Anyways, so he was named Milk by his two legs, because he, first of off, loved milk. Second off, he if you looked closely towards him, it almost looked like he had milk kind of splashed into his fur. So I think his two legs really got inspiration from that and named him Milk. Anyways, so Milk the kitty pet was fairly young, maybe around a year old, when he saw a rabbit while one of his two legs opened the door and walked in and just immediately chased after it, just so filled with adrenaline and excitement. He decided to stay out there after catching it and tasting how delicious it was and that's when he was founded by a cliff clan patrol cliff clan is a clan that has territory of just cliffs and like dry brush if that's the right word not a lot of water which will also make sense in the future probably around a minute from now <laughs> Anyways, so he was named Milk Paw by the leader of Cliff Clan and eventually became Milk Pool after finding a pool of water in one of the drought seasons of Cliff Clan. He was already from the start a very popular warrior and was almost made deputy, but the Milk or not the Milk's clan, but the Cliff Clan leader before that decided to pick someone else and a little more experienced. He didn't really feel bad, though, because he was still very young and had a lot of time left. Anyways, the old Cliff Clan leader was very old anyway, so he was probably going to die and he could be picked by the current deputy when he's leader. Anyways, so one very dry season and hot summer day, he kind of realized that a couple of his clanmates had been gone missing by coyotes and other mysterious illnesses and dehydration and all that good stuff not good he realized that and he was like yeah i need to book it out of here so he asked some of his friends in the clan moth paw a ginger and white medicine cat apprentice and rock paw another younger apprentice and even a kitten named frog kit which demanded he could come with milk's Pool, I was called Milk Star, but he used Milk Pool at the time, almost declined the offer of the kitten, but knew that he was probably going to die anyway from dehydration or even a hawk attack was susceptible at the time. He was susceptible of dying at the time from a hawk attack. Anyways, on that day, he left without saying goodbye, knowing that some of his clanmates would probably want to come with, which wouldn't be good when they were crossing across the dry desert, and there's not a lot of water, so if there's a lot of cats, probably people are still, or cats are still going to die from dehydration if there's a lot of them. So they traveled across the desert, and they actually found a lush oasis. There was a pond and a river that went into an even bigger river, and a kind of almost a lake kind of area over there, and it was the perfect spot for a clan. One night, while they were sleeping, Mothpaw had a vision from Star Clan that Milkpool would have to become the next leader. 
Milk Pool, when they woke up, was shocked at the news, saying that he didn't really already have a clan. He just had Rock Paw, Moth Paw, and Frog Kit, who is almost ready to become Frog Paw. But that day, two elders, Hailshine and Hollow Belly, showed up. They were a past clan cat before their clan died from starvation. So they were ready to settle anywhere, since they were pretty old elders and couldn't even hunt for themselves. Milkstar allowed them into clan, into the clan, being quite empathetic. And with that, or later the next day, a patrol of Midge Flower and Sweet Paw arrived. Milkstar was automatically infatuated with Midge Flower. He was almost like his brother the second they met. They were bickering and playfully fighting. It was it was just a good time for Milkstar, so he as well let Midge Flower into the clan. But this is where stuff gets interesting. So one night, he noticed someone in the bushes spying on him. And when the cat finally showed herself, it was Oak Mask of the rival clan, Dune Clan. He was immediately suspicious of Oak Mask because, um... She was from a rival clan from him, and he did not want his kitten, Frog Kit, or his apprentices, Sweet Paw, Rock Paw, or Moth Paw, to be attacked by Oak Mask. So he was kind of like, uh, yeah, back off, Oak Mask. I, I saw you at gatherings. You were one of the top and strongest cats of Dune Clan, and you're probably spying on Eco Clan, which he named it, just for the knowledge of Dune Clan. But she... D d denied, 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 and said that the reason she followed was because Dune Clan actually was dying severely, like Cliff Clan, and she also followed because she noticed that Milkstar had Frog Kit with, and she was worried for the safety of Frog Kit. So, she was like, uh, um, that's not okay, and followed with, you could say. Because she was just concerned for Frog Kit's safety. And she was a really motherly cat. Which you, if you watch the series, you knew she loved kittens. But besides that, eventually Milkstar trusted Oak Mask because she did not go running back to Dune Clan ever. Before she sadly passed. But when the decision, when the decision time happened to make a deputy, she still chose Midge Flower. Since Midge Flower was like a brother to him. Plus... Oak Mask still couldn't be trusted in Milkstar's eyes. In his older age, Milkstar slightly went a little crazy. Either that was just his mental health, or he had some other issue physically or mentally. It's not really known, but Milkstar to this day is still alive and going on and just crazy. He kind of feels bad for not, like apologizing for being so suspicious of Oak Mask, and now things between him and Midge Flower are pretty awkward since. He prays to Starkland that Midge Flower does not die soon. Oh, that would be very upsetting. That's probably the point where Milkstar would go full-blown crazy. Anyways, that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed me just rambling on about Milkstar's description. It makes me even love him more. Comment down a character you want me to know or you guys want to hear about next and their lore. You guys probably already know about Mothpaw and Rockpaw and Frog Kit because they were, um, they were discussed in this video a little more than the others. But if you still want to know about them more, talk to me in comments and maybe I'll do that. Anyways, like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell to get notified when I post new videos. I'd also like to say I'm really sorry for the glitchy mic earlier in the video, about two minutes to one minute ago. I'm so sorry, headphone users. Anyways, bye guys!